Today we're going to talk about formatting text in PowerPoint. I've opened up one of my PowerPoint files and this is what our goal will be today. To change the color of the text, to change the alignment where it shows up on the slide, to change the font style and the size. So what we first do, we click inside the title box and you highlight by clicking where you want it to start, hold down your left mouse button, move your mouse to the left or use your mouse pad. Then you move up to the toolbar here and first we're going to change the font. And if you notice, if you hold your mouse over, it tells you what each icon or what each word does. I click on the down arrow and let's say we're going to take, let's pick one here. Okay, maybe the uh, AR Christie. Okay, now I want it to be a little bit larger, so I come up to the font size, click on the down arrow, and my titles I usually make very large so they stand out. So I'm going to go with about 80 there. And now, while it's still highlighted, let's change the color and let's make it the purple. So I'm going a little different from what the slide showed in the beginning here. That looks pretty cool. Now, if you noticed on the first slide, I had right align, and you normally have it centered. So let's change it back to right align, aligning the text. So again, I highlight. Now this, I go to the paragraph toolbar, and just watch as I click on it. That's for aligning to the left margin. This is centering, and this is to the right. The justify usually means when you have a paragraph, it'll show an even margin on both the left and the right side. Okay, so that covers most of the font changes here. Let's highlight one more time. And we're going to click on the B for bold. So you see it gets darker. The I italicizes it, makes it look like handwriting, and then U for underline. Okay, so let's see how much you remember. So here is your home tab that you click on. You're going to go to the font section. And where do you click for the bold? When you want to bold letters, make them darker. Very good, the dark B. And how about italics to make it look like writing? Okay, the I. And then when we're going to underline, the U. And then how about font style? Very good. You click on the down arrow to get more listings of font styles. And the font size, right next to it. Again, clicking on the down arrow gives you more information. And the font color, 